But John Randolph, this sophomore from Seattle, has taken it to a new level. He, he entered Brown with hype, and he surpassed the hype. You and I saw him play when he was just 18 years old and couldn't believe that that was an 18-year-old out there playing with such poise. He's an on-field leader, an off-field leader. He's moved more into a downfield role this season, and that's been a calculated move by that leadership. His speed and athleticism and explosiveness have been so difficult for opponents to contain. John Chapel. Randolph, oh, what footwork, he's in. Jonathan Monfort, the observer, was right there, rules Randolph in the end zone. Resetting, swinging the disc as needed. Colorado one, Brown one. And that nice little high release, no pivot backhand from Mac Hecht, calling the offensive sets for this team. So there's continuity in the system and some new tweaks by experienced coaches. There goes Randolph. Perfect throw from Hecht that narrowly eluded A.G. How many times this season, or should I say the last two seasons, has this connection yeah. borne fruit? Twice so far this game. From an ultimate IQ perspective, from a basic throwing perspective, and here's a deep shot from Hecht. Into the wind, Mac Hecht. Doesn't care about that biting breeze. And it's Randolph again. And Mac Heck just unflinching, uncorks a 50 yard upwind shot. Working and they turn the disc over in the same breath. Isaac Chesler, the lefty, launches. Great peel off defense by Randolph, and he makes the catch look routine. And because of that, he gets away with charming witticisms like keep your hands to yourselves out there on the field. Everyone's been dealt their fair share of dangler justice. Randolph leaping, and he landed in. Brown, after trailing four to three, broke downwind to tie, and now breaks upwind to lead. Around the country, and Heck from the Boston area launching deep. Alex Liu is there. You're not gonna see a nicer upwind flick hook than that one from Heck. And they get it back to him, and he picks up the assist. Randolph with his fifth goal of the half. 6-5, Brown. Brown six, well, once again, we're seeing the upwind hucking prowess of Mac Hecht. I think it's going to be imperative, no matter what the Team 4 strategy is, to go straight up on Hecht. Set for Hecht. Randolph, again, his sixth goal of the first half. And it doesn't feel like any of them have been forced. Here's Hecht, Randolph. Just a few yards out to Dick. Randolph so tough to guard in the small spaces as Brown takes half, 8-6. For much of the rest of this game. Seven goals for Randolph, six for Colorado, and one for Ned Dick. Colorado has won 22 of its last 23. And Brown made that look super easy. Guess who? Randolph with another score, but this time it wasn't hecked on the assist. Not number 12, but number 13, Alex Liu, give Heck, the hockey assist. Yeah, plenty of prep work done earlier in the point there. But by calling the foul at the point the contact occurred, he's able to center the disc. Randolph wide open deep again. It was a brilliant setup cut on Isaac Kessler, and he just left him in the dust. What was that, less than two seconds after the disc got tapped back in? Get rid of two great Florida stars, Tim Garrett and Kurt Gibson. Too easy. There's a little Garrett to Gibson 
knee. So difficult for Isaac Chesler there defending at the front of the stack. By the same token, he gets no help from his mark whatsoever. John, fresh off a win, facing your very first college championship game tomorrow. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. I feel ready. Um, yeah, just really excited. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Now it's yeah. cold. <laughs> well, great to have teammates like that. You had an absolutely phenomenal game, 10 goals. What were you seeing on the field? What enabled you to make such an impact in this game? Um, well, I, it's really just all about the team. Um, what I felt out there is that our whole team felt way fresher than theirs, um, and I think that allowed us to take advantage of our matchups. I think that comes from all 20 guys on the roster and our, our coaches doing really well with heat management all throughout the weekend. Um, yeah. Cal Poly Slow and UNC face off a little bit later tonight. What are your thoughts on either of those teams as your potential pot pot opponent tomorrow? Um, I'm really excited to play one of those teams. They're both great teams. We've seen them before this season. Um, we're really excited. Um, I'm excited to see my friend Jeremy back playing for Slow. Um, those guys are playing really great. I'm just really excited to watch the semifinal. Well, speaking of playing great, you did an absolutely phenomenal job. I'm so excited to see what you have in store tomorrow. Good luck. Great. Thanks so much. Capture that title. With the stall count rising, this shot to the corner of the end zone. To That's a Sports Center top 10 nominee caliber block. Hecht is there with no time to spare.